This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by Jesus is the way, the truth, the life dot com. Mr. Jackson, what is this about you forcing people who supposedly disagree with you to sit in uh, uncomfortable chairs or bad spots? Well, that couldn't be any further from the truth. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, everybody has to sit in a seat, and some people are politer and more respectful of the institution than others, so certain behavior earns you a certain seat in this particular case. What's your disposition toward free staters? Um, I don't really have a disposition towards free staters. You have a no. disposition toward the Republican Party and maybe the Green Party, right? Um, I, I think all points of view are welcome to the process. I'm a Republican, but I'm a, I'm a traditional New Hampshire Republican. That's who I am. That's who I've always been. No, and you answer questions instead of just walking past me, so I appreciate it, especially right. out in the cold with it. Yeah. hardly any, any uh, jacketing on. Yeah, well... My jacket's in the in the car for when it actually gets cold. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's very New Hampshire. All right. Thanks so much. Here's something else that's kind of New Hampshire. Looks like a piece of uh, literature from the liberty-leaning We the People organization, which uh, just mysteriously uh, wound up on a senator's vehicle here in front of the state house. Looks like a senator's vehicle, I think. Yeah, I guess so. Anybody want some chuck? Porcupine Christians. Even if you don't want to get arrested with them, you might want to hang out with them. Although they don't get that much attention, perfectly normal Christian families are an important part of the Free Stater movement, and Pork Fest specifically. You'll find a cluster of them at campsites two and four. Drop by if you like. Pork Fest is just as accepting of religion as it is of libertines. To learn more, visit Jesus is the way, the truth, the life dot com.